Tiara's Ultimate. It's one of those abilities that completely change the game once you use it. For a brief moment, it's only you and those four shiny vitals you wanna proc. Your average Fiora will do it in 4 or 5 seconds. With a bit more practice, it will go down to 3. But it's only the best Fiora players in the world that are able to do it so fast that enemies can't even react. I wanted to become one of those players and this is how I did it so fast. No one will ever beat it. When you use Fiora's ult, 4 vitals appear around an enemy. Each vital does a lot of damage and if you manage to proc them all, you and your team will be healed over time. My goal? To proc them as fast as possible. There are a few ways to proc vitals. First, you can use a standard auto attack. If you were to use only those, you'd be able to proc all vitals in 3 seconds. The quickest ult proc I found was done in 0.75 seconds, so I have a long way to go. You can also proc vitals using Q. It's a little dash that deals damage to a nearby enemy at the end of it. Adding it to our combo reduces it by a whole second. Now let's add it. It allows you to attack two times almost instantly. And flash, it makes your champion blink to a targeted location. Combine those to proc two vitals in 0.1 seconds. And lastly, you can add Gold Drinker, an item that deals damage around you, to proc the last vital. With all of that, we have a combo that went on perfectly will take 0.7 seconds, only 5 hundredths of a second faster than the record. So there is nothing left but to start trying and hope for the best. First few attempts were, well, not ideal. I was struggling to do even the first part of the combo. And after 10 games, and not a single good try, I realized it's gonna be a lot harder than I thought. But with time, not only did my combos improve, but my Fiora gameplay was getting better and better. And finally, after 15 games, I did the first decent combo. Ooh, okay, nice. So I kept playing, and I soon started getting good tries each game. And while I'm getting faster and faster, let me tell you about Professor, the sponsor of today's video. Oh, okay, that was nice. Professor is a completely free app that helps you before, during and after each game. Oh my god! While in game, Professor can track your stats, camp timers and even help you with tracking summoner spells. Wait, what? If you're a bit lazy like me and you don't wanna set up your runes and think about a good build each game, Professor will do that for you. It will import the best runes and items from Master Plus players straight into your game. Oh, that was so good. If you're serious about climbing, Professor will give you an in-depth analysis after each game and tips on how you can improve. It has a replay tab where you can watch the best players on your main and patch notes tab so you'll never have to look for them again. So if you haven't already, go and download Professor now. Link is in the description below. Okay, it's going really well. I'm sure I'm gonna get it in the next few games, right? Well, the games went by and I didn't see much improvements. With each game and each close try, I had less motivation and after 40 games, I was considering leaving this project altogether. My idea was to get below half a second, but after all this time, the fastest I did it was a bit above one second. I had to change something. And it turns out there are a few other ways to proc vitals. After some experimenting, I chose two combos I was gonna try. Both a lot faster than what I did before. First, using Prowler's Claw. It's an item league that allows you to dash to a targeted champion. And what matters the most, it procs one of the vitals. Combining this with what I've learned before, I got this combo. The other idea was to use Smite. This combo is a lot harder, but it's actually a bit faster than the first one. Prepared for another long grind, I played 4 games, trying the first combo without any decent attempts. But then, completely out of nowhere, I somehow did this. What? <laughs> no way! This time, luck was on my side, and it took me only 5 games to do almost a perfect combo. Well, that was quite easy, I think I'm gonna go for a faster one. I had one idea left, smite combo. It is a lot harder, but even perfectly, it will be faster. So as usual, I did the combo for an hour in practice tool, 
and started trying. This time I immediately started getting good tries. I was getting really consistent really fast. The first part of the combo was the thing that my hands just did and I didn't really need to think about it. Last thing on my mind was smite and hitting it at the right moment, but it's easier said than done. For almost every try I procced three vitals perfectly, but I either didn't use smite or I completely missed the timing. I played 15 games and it slowly started looking like the first combo all over again. I even got this combo that missed Q just by a few pixels. So I kept playing and I kept missing the combo. I even tried looking for some other easier combos, but there was nothing I could find. So there was just me and this one impossible combo. This time I couldn't give up and I played and played and played. And about a week and 40 games later, I did this. After doing it, I thought I'm done. And that the last combo was the fastest I could do. So I moved to the last part of the project, but unfortunately for me, this wasn't the case. Turns out there is a combo I could do that's even faster. But for some reason, it took me another week to realize that. The combo I'm talking about uses Gale Force. And in practice tool, I was able to do it in 0.3 seconds. Do I try it now? Or do I leave it? Well, of course I had to try. On the surface, this combo seems quite easy. You only need to press three buttons and that's it. But it's actually by far the hardest one I've done. Let me explain. Gale Force is an item that makes you dash. It also deals damage to a nearest enemy. It's kind of hard to see, but it fires three bolts that deal damage. With right movement and timing, you can actually proc three vitals with three different projectiles. Then by adding flash and Q, you get an insanely fast ult proc. Doing it in practice, is already difficult, but pulling it off on a moving target seemed close to impossible. With nothing to lose, I started attempting the combo. Keep in mind that at this point I played like 80 games to do the previous combo, so there really wasn't much motivation left. I played 5 games and it wasn't even close. Most of my attempts didn't even look like I was going for the combo. So I quit. At least for a few weeks. I tried to focus on different projects, but this Fira combo was still in the back of my mind. So a week later, I decided to play a single game. I wasn't expecting much, but maybe, just maybe, I could get it this time. And then, completely out of nowhere, I did this. Honestly, I still have no idea how it happened. This record would be very hard to beat, but it's certainly not unbeatable. With a bit more luck or skill, someone could easily beat me by a few hundreds of a second. So let's get a record that is actually unbeatable. Most of the clips of other records you've seen today are done in practice tool. It's a place where you can craft and try out your combos without any limitations. The current world record stands at 0.2 seconds, which is very impressive. It uses Smite and the Gold Drinker to proc all vitals almost instantly. But I knew I could do better. My idea was to use Redemption a support item that deals damage 2.5 seconds after you cast it. It turned out that timing redemption was so difficult, I had to use an actual metronome to get consistent. So I sat there for hours and created what I thought was the fastest combo. I won't explain the whole process because it's extremely boring, but I can tell you how it felt. After a few hours of research, I opened up the practice tool with a new plan. Without any idea if it's gonna work, I tried it for a few hours. Most of the time moving my cursor pixel by pixel for a perfect setup. I would do it for a few hours and realize, oh, that might actually be impossible. So I thought about a better, faster idea. And did all of that again. And then again and again. I've spent about 20 hours figuring out the best setup that could actually work. And this is what I landed on. I realized that to minimize my movement, my target will have to move. I tried that with bots, but they are completely unpredictable. So I came up with a better idea. On Summoner Swift, there is a dragon. And if you attack him, he slightly knockbacks everything around him. And with careful placement, he would move my target, but not Fiora. This was my perfect setup. In my first two hours, I didn't proc all vitals a single time. At this point, it felt like my practice didn't even matter. Each time I did my setup, waited 2 seconds for redemption and then pressed all 5 buttons at the same time. After 4 hours I had a few very close tries, 
yet the perfect combo seemed so far out of reach. An hour later, I had my first good try. 0.2 seconds. Now I knew that with enough tries, I could eventually do it. And finally, after 10 hours of practice tool, I did this. Yes, that's it. Yes! A perfect Fiora combo.